All right, so this video is going to go over a few things about Melon DS right now, the current best emulator for DS games in 2020. So right now it's Melon DS 8 or 8.3. If we look down here, there are a few settings I'll go over. Most of them are pretty self-explanatory. I like screen sizing auto, which makes the screen that is being looked at usually the big one, but it hasn't worked 100% of the time. And then we have video settings. A few things to note here, the OpenGL sometimes can be glitchy in games and cause these weird black lines to stutter and it's kind of annoying, but on the games it works on, it's really nice. It just doesn't always work when you speed up. If you have C, as you can see, the black lines there. It also, when it does work, sometimes you can't speed it up using the toggle mode if you have something like G-Sync enabled, which I do. Software though, if you look up here, I can make everything go really fast, um, but only for software because I have G-Sync enabled. And honestly, other than the Wi-Fi settings, I don't think there's really much to go over. If you want it to boot into the DS menu, just uncheck this because nostalgia and Wi-Fi settings is the last thing to look over. So if you have neither of these boxes checked, that means that you can play with yourself on the computer. So if you have two of these Melon DS's open, you can technically connect, but it's a little glitchy. Um, so I would say don't use that. You can also use direct mode, or sorry, you can use local mode by itself, which lets you connect with other people on your Wi-Fi, but that also is really glitchy and does not work very well right now. If you have both of these checked, which I don't know why it has to be both, I have not gotten it to work without having both of these checked, and this will let you play over Wi-Fi. Even if you're on the same network, you still want to use direct mode because it's just better. And then you need Ethernet and WinPCAP, which I'll link everything that you need in the description. So once you have this looking like this, all you have to do is go down to Nintendo Wi-Fi settings. And when you do this, you have to remember not to speed up the game. If you have, you know, the speed up enabled up here, it will make Wi-Fi very glitchy. Sometimes it might work and sometimes it might not work. So it just depends on what you're using it for. You'll look, you'll do search for an access point and then I'll do this and then it'll say Melon AP in a second. Then you say, okay. Then it'll say test connection. And most likely it'll say connection successful. And that was actually really fast, I gotta say, um, compared to usual. But it'll be like this and it won't work. So once you do that, you're not gonna erase the settings. This is just what I'm doing because I already did it here. Then you're gonna go down here and press no and put these numbers in for the primary DNS server because we're going to use the alternate DNS server because even the normal DS's right now cannot connect to the Wi-Fi because Nintendo shut down their servers. So you have to put in um, another one that was made that's called the alternate server or whatever. So you put that in, you test it, it should be pretty fast. And if you're ever doing this and not here but if you're using Wi-Fi and that green box turns red and you're just not getting any Wi-Fi for whatever reason and it doesn't make sense because all everything you've done is correct and I'll show you right here if you go down to mystery gift and you do this and let's just say this box stayed red all you need to do is restart your game and test the Wi-Fi again where we just were. Ooh, I actually need this, so I'm gonna say yes. You'll test the Wi-Fi and if it, and it should just work again. And it should work in game. I don't know why it does that, but sometimes you just have to retest the Wi-Fi. And so, cool, I just got this. Now, let's just say in the specific instance with Pokemon, you load up your game and you cannot get more mystery gifts. This is, a com this is kind of an off topic thing here. And you've already gotten three mystery gifts because all the mystery gifts are on this DNS server. You check card 
and you ha actually have to trash them if you have more if you have three because it won't let you get more I don't know why that's just how it works at least in gen 4 I don't know about gen 5 I can actually demonstrate the in-game Wi-Fi and this works for other games like Mario Kart and all that um, I just want to show the mystery gift thing because that might be complicated so I go here go to Wi-Fi club save the game um, and then like I said earlier you want to make sure you don't speed up the game while you're in here and if you want to know how it's just in hotkey settings so you just have fast forward pretty cool but you don't want to do that during the game because it might mess up the Wi-Fi and while it's loading I'm going to see if there's anything else to look over in here I usually turn my microphone off but I mean if you use it I mean cool doesn't really matter and mid screen gap I sometimes use if I stretch it across multiple monitors so might be useful for you I don't know and honestly I that's really the coolest thing if you're playing a gen 5 game like black and white or black and white 2 you might want to save state before you save the game because sometimes it crashes so that's cool if you're playing Pokemon Platinum Diamond or Pearl you might want to beware of using the digger drill or the game crashing in the explorer kit thingy because that happened 